In book two of the Republic, we got a parable that is known as the Ring of Gyges. Now, in order to understand this parable, we have to back up just a little bit to understand what the book is actually about. And then we can come back to the Ring of Gyges and hopefully understand a little better how it fits into the narrative. So the Republic is about justice. And the real question is, what is better, injustice or justice? And the way that they set about trying to understand the answer to that question is by setting up two hypothetical people, right? So we have the just man, and the just man has nothing but justice. He is just, but everyone thinks that he's unjust. He lives kind of an unhappy life. He's accused of being a bad guy, and all he has to cling on to is the fact that he is just. So that's one person on one side of, this, of the coin. On the other side, we have our unjust man, who is truly unjust, but because he's so good at being unjust, he can get away with his evil, right? So he gets the gains of being unjust. He can steal from people. He can do all these evil things. But because he's so good at being unjust, people think he's a good guy. So he gets away with it. So he lives a happy, comfortable life. And really the challenge is Socrates needs to prove that the just man, even though he's living a life that is not very enviable from the outside, is actually happier than the unjust man. And so the way that this dichotomy is presented is where we run into our parable, the Ring of Gyges. It's spoken through the mouth of Glaucon, who is one of the interlocutors in this dialogue. And he explains it like this. There's a shepherd, and he is doing his shepherd thing. He's shepherding some sheep, and he finds this cave. And the cave is actually a tomb. He goes inside, and there's this giant man, dead in the cave, and on his finger is a ring. And the ring is nothing special at first. He kind of just grabs it and moves along. But soon he realizes that this ring actually has special powers. And what it does is the way you turn the collet on the ring turns you invisible. So if you turn it in, then you become invisible. And if you turn it back out regular, then you reappear to the rest of the world. And what this guy does with this power is essentially whatever he wants. According to the parable, he goes and seduces the queen, he kills the king, and he lives a life of, you know, rule, I guess. He's ruling in this city and doing whatever he wants. And Glaucon asks the question, who wouldn't want to be this guy, right? So if you had the ability to do whatever you wanted, if you had unlimited power with no consequences, would you be like this guy? Would you be like this shepherd and kind of just do anything? And the argument that Socrates has to counteract is that most people would. But what he's going to say is that those people, even if they'd make those decisions, are actually unhappy. Now, later on in this same, um, this same debate here, they actually tack on another situation, which I think is also very significant, which is why I'm adding it here. They also say that one of the reasons people would potentially still be good is because they fear the gods. And now what Glaucon says, or maybe it was his brother, I'm not really sure, I don't remember, um, is that if this guy, this perfectly unjust guy, was really perfectly unjust, he would also be able to satisfy the gods. He would be able to offer them the right kind of atonement so that he doesn't have to feel, uh, fear their wrath or uh, fear an eternity in, um, in Hades. So that's essentially the parable of the Ring of Gyges. It is about a man who gets power and essentially has to make a decision whether or not to use it for evil. And what the interlocutors are suggesting is that most people, maybe all people, would. And that is what Socrates has to contend with for the rest of the book. And, um, and he, he does. It's really worth reading the rest of the book to see how you take this situation which seems so um, undefendable, and he defends it. So... That's what I got for you today.